All right, we are back on part two of the zipper, uh, high-tech zipper uh, review, uh, mini review or full review, however you want to say it. So we just went through the Venom. Uh, ESC is pretty hot, not not to the point where it's going to cut off, but it's pretty hot. So now we're going to put in our Nanotech uh, 60, 65 to 130 discharge, 450 milliamp. Because it's slightly different weight because of the higher C rating and different type of battery chemistry. Um, we're going to have to re-trim it out again. But this one's definitely faster so we could zip around a little bit more. first one was just kind of a more vanilla, a more vanilla run. But this one we're going to be doing a lot more speed. Pushing this EXC to the max. So again this is going to be a four part. So these, first, these are the first two parts of today. And then the other parts are going to be of the original motor before I broke it. Because I did film those days. So you see also a little bit better, a little bit closer view of the model. It's got the little micro servos. And then there's another micro servo inside that pushes the, uh, the elevator. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the elevator already... No, I pushed it in there. You do push it in there. I, I do remember. So... Yeah, great, great plane, and then you see the Emax 1306 in here, shoehorned in there. The biggest motor I've seen somebody put in there, I have seen somebody shoehorn an Emax 1806 in there, so there, it can it can accept bigger batteries. Oh, didn't give it enough power that time, and also it's very far down trim because, like I said, I have to retrim it again because different battery. There you go. All right, we're trimmed out. Recording? Yeah. You go ahead, Maurice, if you want. Fine. So yeah, it's playing absolutely predictable. That's why I have not yet uh, bothered with uh, with painting it. And also, you see with the orange prop, it's kind of easy to see. But yeah, it runs great. Six minute flight time, long flight time, small, easy to pack uh, in my small car. Um, Cheap batteries, about uh, uh, nine, ten dollar Venoms, even from even from a local local retailer with their markup, still ten dollars a battery for for six minutes for uh, six minutes a piece. Oh, oh, I lost. Uh, I, I I browned out, browned out for a second. There, I lost I lost all control. This is the first time I've ever had this uh, receiver brown out, so that's kind of weird. This is a DSMX receiver AR400. Yeah, that was scary. I thought I, because again, this is my favorite model, so I don't want to, I don't want to lose it. So that was kind of sketch. But yeah, I mean, this is supposed to be my high performance battery, so I guess I'll fly at high performance. So that's about half throttle. But even on half throttle, you know, we're still going pretty quick. There's a guy down there, so I want to be careful. So I'm going to slow it down, let the ESC cool off, coming around, and then when I come around, I'm going to go fast. 
But yeah, also a decent model to fly high, but it's it's really the model to go, go fly down low and kind of zip around. Cause it's it's really quick on this Emax. So uh, I will be having part three and part four will be the original motor, original prop, and uh, I'll have that guy attached when I'm able to find the footage for it, which I should find it. Should be in there. Should be in my Dropbox with all my all my previous recording footage. Yeah, overall great plane, especially for 50 bucks. I mean, e like, obviously 100% for what I got it for, $25 um, at an event. It's absolutely amazing plane for that money. But even for 50 bucks, it's still an amazing plane. Like I said, I can't recommend this one enough. Would I spend $100 on it? Pro the original price? Probably not. That's probably why it didn't sell that great. But for 50 bucks, um, plus a plus a receiver. Obviously, cannot recommend the um, Lemon uh, receiver yet because I haven't really tried it yet. Uh, neck and neck with uh, this uh, AR400. Obviously, the Lemon the Lemon one I have is a six six channel. This one's a four channel, so obviously it has the has it, it has it beat on that. But uh, I can't recommend it yet. Um, and then this this motor swap, I super recommend the. Um, the RS-1306 from Emacs with a bullnose 4x4 prop. Um, absolutely the perfect prop for this one where you could get a lot of speed, a lot of efficiency, really quiet, no, no external vibrations or anything like that. Great, great uh, receiver. I mean, a great motor, motor combination. Cannot recommend it enough. Obviously, again, flawless. Uh, another thing before we before we cut out here in 42 seconds, uh, flawless casting, flawless injection molding on this guy. Uh, it just needs a paint job. So one part of the wing where the servos go is really thin, so you actually see the, the servos through the skin of the foam. But um, once you paint it, that shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, absolutely amazing playing with this motor swap on it, and before even before then. It was a really, really nice motor, too. So, I really, really recommend it. So that's why I wanted to get this review out before uh, before they're all gone. So, all gone on eBay and other places in the interwebs. So you can't find them anymore. So, just wanted to get this video out. So we're going to take it in for another nice landing. Hopefully closer. Got flap. Got flaps on. Flap runs on. Uh, that was a little hard. Uh, that's okay. So you see all all the flaps that I have here. Uh. So yeah, there's a spot where it's really thin. There's a spot where it's really thin. So this is all the flaps I need to get it to slow down really nice. But yeah, overall a great plane. Highly recommend it. Um, stay tuned for part three and part four of this video. And uh, we'll have the, uh, maybe I'll do some voiceover on that where I can talk more about it. But overall, absolutely amazing plane. Uh, this has been Steven from RC Engineering. I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part three and part four.